Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous video, we solved this problem, sum of two integers. Just pretty much saying, given decimal numbers A and B, we want to add them up without using the plus and the minus sign. Okay, we solved the using C because C was the better tool than Python. So today we're going to explain this solution, why why it works. Okay, so to do this, okay, let's just first write, let's get some examples with three bits binary numbers so again you can use any number of bits but i like three so let's just write the binary numbers so zero in binary is just zero 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 if we decided three bit implementation one zero zero one two okay so, so so these are our binary numbers again so like we said two things we need to keep track of is or we need to keep track of our xr okay a simple XOR table is so if we have an A and a B, okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, XOR is just gonna give us if both are 0, 0, if both are 1, 0, if either is 1, 1. Okay, it's different than OR, it's called the exclusive OR. Let's also have an AND table, an AND table, AND table. Okay, A, B, and results okay i'll just leave results variable empty okay zero 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 one one zero one one okay it's pretty similar okay if both are one is one if either is zero is zero okay cool now le let's take some example cases okay in our first example let's add three okay plus four okay three plus four okay three in binary is just zero one one four is one zero zero we want to add him it's just straightforward one 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 which is seven right okay correct we want to add him okay so there's two steps we did here but you didn't really see the two steps the first step was to xor him the next step was to end him and keep doing that in this example just because it was straightforward we didn't see it let's take an example where it's not as straightforward let's take three plus five okay and then we'll see what we're doing okay so three again zero one one five is one zero one okay in this case one plus one is zero right but there's a carry okay one plus one is still zero that's a carry one plus one is zero that's a carry okay and this is eight okay now this problem just like the first problem can be broken into two steps okay the first step okay i'm, I'm just gonna write him the first problem too followed these two steps, but we didn't really care about it because it was straightforward. But let's see, the first problem, okay, is what I call the XR problem, okay, where we can break this problem into, so I'm going to call this the XR. So we can simply break it into 3XR5, okay, and in this case, 3XR5 is just simply, like we said, in binary 3 is 0, 1, 1. 5 is 1, 0, 1, okay? Now, let's XOR them using the XOR table. XOR table says if they're both 1, we get a 0. If they're both 1, we get a 0. So, this would be a 0. Either is 1, okay? If either is 1, we get a 1. So, okay? Keep in mind, so 3XOR5 is what? It's 6. 3XOR5 is 6, okay? Now, the second problem is the AND problem. Okay, but not just any end, the left shift end. Left shift by one end. Okay, so let, let's do it again. So three, okay, this was XR. Five is one, zero, one. Okay, now what operation are we doing? We're adding. Okay, so one and one, obviously, is one. One and zero is zero. Okay, simply this is our end. But now we need to apply the left shift to him. So once we left shift him by one, this is gonna give us <coughs> zero, one, zero. Okay. So now keep in mind this is gonna become our new A. This is gonna become our new B. Okay. And now keep in mind this is six. This is two. So now the problem is we have to do this again. So this problem now becomes. 6 plus 2 does that make sense 
okay so now we're gonna have to break him up into two parts again okay six in binary okay the first part is the xor just exactly what we did before so xor six xor two okay xor six xor two so what is six six is just one one zero <clears throat> two is zero one zero once we do the exclusive or okay let me scroll down a little bit once we do the exclusive or of these guys okay exclusive or says if both are zero zero okay if both are one zero one okay so this is four okay exclusive or of these guys give us four okay so that just this becomes our new a which is four okay next the second part of the problem just like before is the and left shift by one okay so now let's six <coughs> six is one one zero okay and two zero one zero okay let's end it if both are one is one okay else is other ways is zero okay now let's left shift him by one for so left shifting by one that gives us one zero zero okay which this becomes our new b and b is what this is four okay so let's keep going okay this becomes a is four plus four this is our new problem now to solve okay again he breaks up in two parts okay first part is the xo problem okay the xo problem just says four x or four okay so let's do it. four is just one zero zero okay one zero zero xr says if they're both zero zero both zero zero both one zero right from our xr table up here if they're both one we get zero okay so this is our new a which is zero okay so the second part of the problem is our iron case uh, iron case let's shift it by one okay so let's have it one zero zero four one zero zero this is four so we want to end it here with x or b zero 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 one and one what is one and one according to our end if it's one and one we get one so this is back four okay this is our new so let's let shift him so we want to left shift him next by one if we left shift him by one this becomes what does he become he becomes eight one zero 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 the third zero comes which becomes our new b which is it okay good again this problem goes one step further because now we have he becomes a zero plus b eight okay this is what our while loop if you look at the code this is what our while loop is doing it's doing him consistently okay so again still a two-part problem the first part <coughs> is the xor case xor case says zero xor eight okay what is zero zero in four bits okay because eight is four bit eight eight is just one zero 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 we want to xor this case okay so xor says if eta is one it becomes one otherwise it's zero so this guy is one everyone else is zero so this becomes our new a which is eight we good second case is the end case okay here we xor okay and case zero zero we want to add zero and eight okay everything here is going to be zero straight zeros if you left shift zero still zeros so this becomes our new b which is zero okay so now simply we have a base case once b is zero our while loop stops because it says while b our while loop stops and then we just return a okay and what what is a a is simply eight so we return a equals eight again kind of like we expected three plus five equals eight we did the same thing here but it wasn't as obvious okay so that's it for the video guys i hope this was helpful in understanding how this code works so again all we're doing is the xor first then calculating the carry by that shifted and then we're assigning this xor to a carry to b and we're doing it all over again till b becomes zero.
I'll see you guys in the next one.